Hi everyone. Uh, so once I got to Brisbane, my job hunt officially started because I'm seriously starting to run out of money. Um, at some point, I thought I found something. I could do some work for accommodation in Rainbow Beach. Um, so I got to Rainbow Beach, and this is the work. Yeah, I know it doesn't really seem like work. It was sort of my job to take a group of people up to the Carlos Sandlow every evening around sunset. Uh, so we could just enjoy the view. That was my job, and it only took about two hours in total. Uh, besides that, I also got to clean the kitchen, which mostly included doing everyone's dishes, because apparently it is really difficult for a lot of people to do their own dishes. Anyway, yeah, I tried to look for a paying job as well, but it turns out Rainbow Beach is incredibly small, so I couldn't really find a paying job there. There's just no place to work. So I decided to only stick around for a week. Most of my spare time was spent like this. I mean, no complaints here, definitely not. Uh, but at one point I decided that I wanted to do something active. So I got on this ferry and I was handed a bucket with this dead fish. And then I waited in line to feed this lovely dolphin named Ella. Uh, her baby squirt was also there. It was so lovely. I did not expect a dolphin to be that gentle when taking a dead fish out of my hand. And, oh, it was fun. I loved it. See, the thing about Rainbow Beach is that a lot of people only come there on their way to Fraser Island. Uh, Fraser Island is the world's largest sand island, and personally, I don't really like sand. So I thought to myself, I'm not doing this. At some point I realized that I would probably regret it if I wouldn't go. Uh, so I decided to just go on a day tour. Something really brilliant about Fraser Island is that there's actually a rainforest in the middle of it, which is a bit strange, but also really pretty and brilliant. And my favorite part of the whole day is just gorgeous. Uh, so without further ado, this is what a day trip to Fraser Island looks like. stop making sense because on my way to Rainbow Beach I passed by Noosa and I actually wanted to visit that area as well. Uh, the thing is I thought I can get a job so I just sort of moved past it. Um, so I went back down to Noosa which is beautiful. I think um, I think so far Noosa has actually got my favorite beach in all of Australia. I mean there's still loads of places that I've got to see but that was definitely my favorite. I also went on a day trip to the Musa Everglades, and this is what that looked like. I decided to travel back north again because I'd heard a lot of people saying that apparently you could get a job in Bundaberg doing some farm work and I was starting to get desperate so I traveled up north again all the way to Bundaberg. It turns out that because of the wet season not being very wet there wasn't any work yet. So there was a lady who told me that I could get a job in Gatton and I just had to be there the day after. So I quickly gathered all my stuff, got on a bus and I went back south to the Brisbane area again. So I arrived in Gatton and she said, oh yeah, job starts on Monday. And I thought, okay, I can wait a few days because it was Friday. Um, so that Monday, we got up at 3.30 in the morning. So we arrived at the farm at 4.30 in the morning, only to realize that apparently this woman had sent way too many people and we could all go home again. So yeah, that kind of sucked. 
Um, that was like the first clue that something was wrong here. So then I got another job uh, working on a ginger firm, trimming ginger, which is an incredibly boring job and I'm a perfectionist so it just, I got even slower than everyone else and I got fired. I think for that reason because I got fired twice in one day and I'm still not even sure why. Um, but you know, so I worked for a total of eight days in three weeks time and I was supposed to be starting another job anyways the week after. So then this woman comes up and she's like, no, 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 that job doesn't start for another two weeks. And I'm thinking to myself, I want to leave this place now. Because first of all, Gatton is incredibly boring. Um, I mean, this is what my street looked like. The highlight of the day was watching the sunset every day at this particular spot on my way to the supermarket. Uh, which was also a 25 minute walk away. The thing is, I was really starting to feel miserable in Gatlin because I was stuck in a house with a couple of people who barely spoke English and it's just annoying. Oh, I was just starting to go crazy for a little while. So I went back to Brisbane for the weekend and I really love this city. It's just beautiful and it's got this whole lovely laid back, chilled atmosphere going on because of the Parkland city. I don't know what they call it, it's like the inner city beach which is lovely and I also really enjoyed the whole cultural, media, artsy sense of the city. Um, including the library, which is an incredible building and they've got really fast free Wi-Fi, so I was not complaining there. Anyway, yesterday I left Brisbane and I came back to Vandenberg, up north again. Uh, this time I'll be traveling up north for a while because I'll be away for about a week. Um, until I get to Cairns. I'm just gonna have some fun in the meantime and then hopefully I can find a job in Cairns. So that's it for now. For once you're all completely up to date on what I've been doing and I'll get back to you whenever I've done something that's worth sharing. For now I hope you're all okay and I'll see you soon. Bye!